In various types of literature and storytelling, the equine species has symbolized many different concepts. These forms can vary across cultures and mythologies. In this film, I hope to introduce some of the different types of equine creatures that have been seen throughout history and across mythology. Historically speaking, horses have been used by humanity for centuries. In fact, horses first appeared in Paleolithic cave art around 30,000 BC. Be it travel, work, or war, the horse has been represented in many stories and in many ways. The Romans associated the horse with Mars, the god of war. On February 27th and March 14th, the Romans held the festival honoring Mars called Equera, which was an equine race in his honor. In fact, horses were seen quite often in Greek and Roman art and myth. Horses could be seen pulling chariots, such as those that assist Helios, the god of the sun. Most recognizable, however, is Pegasus. Created by Poseidon, Pegasus was a winged horse and was a symbol of wisdom and especially of fame through the Middle Ages until the Renaissance. Pegasus is the subject of a very rich iconography, especially through the ancient Greek pottery and paintings and sculptures of the Renaissance. In the Celtic culture, the white horse represented a deity, though mostly of the goddesses Rhiannon and Epona. This made its appearance very sacred and powerful. This symbol is very spiritual and also meant caution. Since it was considered a deity in horse form, it was important not to anger it in any way. It takes form on White Horse Hill in Uffington, which has a large equine figure carved into the top. It is one of the oldest hill figures in the region. No one knows who made it or when, but it is thought to represent Epona, the protector of horses. Along with divinity and wisdom, horses also have symbolized power. Often, the horse in this sense is an emblem of war. Usually used for warfare, those of nobility and stature rode horseback while most soldiers walked. This was partially because only the rich could afford war horses, but it was also practiced because those of nobility were literally above the commoners. Great war horses from history have been commemorated in paintings and in portraits. Another example of a horse's power is the Native American tribes. The tribes that owned horses not only won more battles, but also claimed more territory. The wealthier a tribe was, the more horses they possessed. This species has had an impact on humanity from the beginning. Because of their impact, they have had a lasting effect on art, mythology, and history itself. It is important to recognize the contribution of this species because it can give us insight from where we came and where we are going as a culture and society.